Recently, a couple of friends and I, yes, I have those, went to see Return of the Caped Crusaders, which is an animated Batman film that takes place within the same continuity as the 60s series. It even had Adam West, Burt Ward and Julie Newmar returning to voice Batman, Robin and Catwoman. At the beginning of the year, if someone had asked me what the best Batman film would have been in 2016, I would have said Batman v Superman, but that went ahead and sucked. So next up, I would have guessed the highly anticipated adaption of The Killing Joke, but then DC went and added a bunch of nonsense and screwed that film up too. It was turning out to be a disappointing year for us Bat fans, until this little film came along. I absolutely loved it. It was as ridiculous and as fun as fans of the original series might have hoped for. If you haven't seen the original 60s series, it doesn't mean you can't appreciate this movie though. You just need to know what you're getting yourself in for. If you find scenes like this entertaining, then you'll love this movie. Shall we? Your orange juice, sir. Batman special. I accept your invitation. If not, then unfortunately, it's not for you. Because that is exactly the sort of nonsense that happens in Return of the Caped Crusaders. It knows exactly what sort of movie it is, and it uses that to its advantage. It even takes shots at the more serious versions of Batman, by having Batman become a darker version of himself over the length of the film. Of course, it's still Adam West Batman, so even this darker version is still silly and fun. They didn't have the budget to take the original series to space, but this is animated, so of course they do it here. Because obviously Batman has a bat rocket. This film continues some of the iconic traditions from the series, such as big, onomatopoeic word balloons during the fights, and adding bat to the beginning of every item in Batman's arsenal. Hand me down the shark repellent bat spray! But I think my favourite tradition is Batman's incredible deductive skills. He and Robin are able to make huge leaps in logic as they deduce the answers to the Riddler's riddles and I think it's hilarious. We'll select the key words from each of the first three riddles. Page, banquet, eagle's nest, and man. For instance, the letter P in the word page is the 16th letter in the alphabet. Using numerical positions in the alphabet as a common denominator, we then add the number two for banquet, and Jigsaw Puzzle Factory on the corner of Shady Glade and Fifth. Excellent. So if this sounds appealing to you, please go ahead and check it out. It's now available on DVD, Blu-ray and digital HD download. So what do you think? Have you seen the movie? If you have, please leave your thoughts below in the comments. And like this video and please subscribe for more geeky good stuff just like this.